Ladies and gentlemen, citizens all of the universe, from the beautiful and serene Fort Lyon, located in Los Angeles, Colorado, we bring you yet another worldwide transmission from Fun Squad Central Command Headquarters. We are listening to a little Depeche Mode policy of truth. Thank you for joining us and welcome. Um, it's been a couple days since my last uh, transmission to you. And um, uh, let's see. Um, since my last transmission on Friday, um, a lot has happened. Um, let's see. Uh, I wanted to go over some things with you. Oh, I got a bunch of new stuff I wanted to tell you about. Um, number one, the main thing being um, uh, that um, I got some new software for the Fun Squad Command Central Headquarters broadcast. It's beautiful software. I'm going to show it to you here in a minute so I can insert documents or pictures or um, web pages or video or whatever I want. So it'll make my life a lot easier. Um, it's great software. It's called OBS. Um, it's broadcasting software. Um, so um, And it's free. It's a uh, public domain software. So it's very cool. And I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. Um, but first things first. Um, so uh, let's see. Sunrise this morning was at 6.46 a.m. The sunset is going to be at 7.10 p.m. It is right now about 11.46 a.m. I'm running a little late today because it took me some prep work uh, with this new software. So, But I'm very excited about the new software. And so you will get to see how it works here in a minute. Um, uh, but um, there's a couple of really exciting things I want to tell you about. One was I went through to a new procedure called um, AccuDetox, which I'm very excited to uh, tell you about. But before I get into that, I just wanted to give you a brief uh, uh, a briefing of um, what I did this weekend. Um, Saturday, I watched um, Annihilation um, excuse me, with, um, I can't remember the actor's name, but it's about um, kind of end of the world stuff. But, um, and then I started to watch uh, Pacific Rim, which is kind of like a Transformers type movie. Um, but I fell asleep, so I didn't get to watch that, so I'm going to try to watch the rest of it, maybe tonight. And then Sunday, uh, I went to the Church of God in Wiley for the 4 o'clock uh, dinner and Bible study. We had Mexican food, and um, we talked, we continued in our uh, discussion on um, Luke. Uh, we went to Luke 20 and covered all of Luke 20, so next week we'll be on Luke 21. I did post the a service on the Facebook. I shared it from their, their site. They, uh, they upload it every week. So actually twice a week. One, once for Sunday morning and once for uh, Sunday evening. So next week I'll be going to um, the mountains for the uh, church here in Los Animas. They're having a breakfast, an early breakfast. The bus is leaving here at 6. We're going to get there about 8 and have a wonderful, wonderful breakfast. So that'll be great for that. Um, and then, um, what else do I have to tell you about what I did this weekend? I was going to go to the little reservoir, but I couldn't make it because the wind was just absolutely brutal over the weekend. So I didn't go to that. But I did have a fun squad weekend anyway. Uh, I listened to some music, watched some movies, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so it was, it was great. Um, it was fantastic. This morning, uh, we had our community meeting. Lynn did it, um, you know, um, and she did a thing on, um, you know, uh, she always does these little quotes. And so she had this, I'm going to share it with you right now. Um, she had this uh, really neat saying about her life in five short chapters. And as you know, my book, uh, I'm writing my book, so it'll, it's, I'm making some progress. But I thought about it, you know, and this is pretty much, you know, my life as well in one short easy chapter uh or five short easy chapters um um and it goes like this i'm going to transition this thing here and so it goes chapter one of my life i walk down the street there's a deep hole in the sidewalk i fall in i am lost i am helpless it isn't my fault it takes forever to find a way out chapter two i walk down the same street 
there's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in. I can't believe I'm in the same place. But it isn't my fault. And it still takes a long time to get out. Chapter 3. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it there. I still fall in. It's a habit. My eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. Chapter 4. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. Chapter 5. I walk down a different street. So I just thought that was kind of neat. And um, so just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. So, um, um, and then the other things I wanted to tell you, um, you know, um, uh, I've been talking with Dave, my sponsor, and we're going to try to get up and get my truck in April, but now it looks like I'm not going to be able to do the April thing. I might have to wait until May to get the truck. So, um, I'm not real sure yet on that. So, um, what's going to happen with the truck. So, um, I'll just have to keep you guys posted. Okay. So, um, so the AccuD, I went Friday to this new thing at Southeast Medical and it's called AccuDetox. And they put these little acupuncture needles in your ears and here is a photo for you i'm gonna fade this in and so that's what it looks like so they put these five little needles in there and um each one does a specific thing or targets a specific area and this is what this looks like so the first area is the shaman and then I'll go over all these here in a minute. And then there's the sympathetic zone, the kidney zone, the liver zone, and the lower lung zone. And so the Shinman um, area is uh, sort of the, uh, is to calm the mind. And it helps with sleep. It also helps with nervous tension. It lowers blood pressure. Then the sympathetic point um, is also a, has a strong pain killing action. It stops sweating, it reduces abdominal cramps. The kidney point improves willpower, it calms fear, it's good for back aches, it aids digestion. The liver point lifts depression, strengthens digestion, improves blood circulation, helps aches and pains. And the lung point um, so it will, um, uh, let me see what it says here. The lung point does, um, lots of stuff too. Where is it? I gotta find it. Ah, okay. No. Lung point does, um, it helps control your breathing. Um, it cleanses your skin. It can stop diarrhea and it helps you sort of let go mentally. So I thought that was a really um, great experience that I had. I, I went through it. Um, they put the things in my ears. And what was really unique about it was I have never experienced this before um, in my life. But um, so after they did it, um, I was you know, supposed to relax and you're in a quiet environment. And then... Um, so there was this guy that was kind of loud, but I just ignored him. But then like five minutes after they put the needles in, I was sitting there and I've attempted to do this before when I'm meditating, but they always tell you to, um, you know, to calm your mind and to don't think about anything. And soon after I began this, I wasn't thinking about anything. It's really hard to describe how this went down, how this felt. Because I was there with my eyes closed, and I was just like, well, what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about absolutely nothing. And I've never, ever been able to do that before in my life, ever. I've never been able to, like, totally clear my mind of, of thoughts. Because even when I'm telling myself to clear my mind of thoughts, that's the, thoughts that, that's the thought that's racing through my, my mind. It's like, well, you got to be thinking about something, because your mind just works that way. Or mine does. I don't know about anybody else's. So I've always suffered, you know, with like racing thoughts and you know, sleeplessness and stuff. So it was a re it's really hard to describe, but it was a really, really refreshing feeling to be able to just have no thoughts in my brain whatsoever. And it was really kind of cool. 
so I wanted to share with you um, uh, the history a little bit of the of the um, Accu Detox, and um, let's go to here. Um, so the Accu Detox transition. So the Accu Detox is um, uh, what is Accu Detox for drug and alcohol addiction rehabilitation. So basically, what it is is. Um, I just want to show you, acu detox is also known as acupuncture detoxification. Auricular acupuncture, auricular therapy, ear acupuncture, and five-point ear acupuncture. The needles they use are fine, gauge, disposable, sterilized, and stainless steel. Um, they don't really cause you any pain. I didn't notice any pain. Don't worry, um, you'll barely feel a, prick, a quick prick as the needle enters your skin. That's true. Um, each of the five points in the ear corresponds to a specific point in the body. One affects the parasystem sympathetic nervous system, and the others affect your heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. By activating these points through acupuncture, your body will become more relaxed, while also becoming more effective at cleansing your system of any toxins. And that was really, really true, my friends, because um, I'm here to tell you, it was badass. Um, like I said, it was just able to relax me, and I felt so calm. And the whole rest of the day, I felt calm. I really did. Um, it was amazing. So, um, so I wanted to um, read you just the some more stuff about um, acupun uh, acu detox. Um, it was invented by uh, NADA, which is the National Acupuncture Detoxification Association which is a not-for-profit training and advocacy organization encouraging community wellness through the use of standardized auricular acupuncture protocol for behavioral health, including addictions, mental health, and disaster and emotional trauma. They work to improve access and effectiveness of care through promoting policies and practices which integrate NADA-style treatment with other Western behavioral health mo modalities. It was actually started in 1974, um, so they codify a training curriculum and develop a flexible system for registering qualified trainers and delivering trainings. And I am here to tell you that thing worked great. It really did. It was a wonderful, um, it was a wonderful thing. So um, I really liked it a lot. So um, I'm hoping that uh, that it will work for me. You know. Uh, but, um, so, uh, I'm hoping that it will, um, you know, continue to work for me. Um, one friend of mine, Adam, who turned me on to it, it's not associated with this place at all. It's done by Southeast, so uh, Southeast Medical, which is in La Junta. And um, one thing that he told me is he said that he almost had like an out-of-body experience. So, you know, and I just, and that's kind of how I felt. It's kind of hard for me to describe, but wasn't really um, an out-of-body experience, but per se, but um, it was pretty neat anyway. So I think this microphone is up a little bit loud, so I hope that's better um, on the microphone. So um, anyway, uh, I'm still experimenting with this software. We'll see how long it goes here um, without you guys having to turn me off, okay? So um, I will... Um, I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. I love you all. Thank you for your wonderful, kind words and your prayers and your support. And uh, I will talk to you in a couple of days, okay? From the Fun Squad, talk to you later. Bye.